Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Sussex Squad? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Pierce Morgan, you are now going to town once again on Will and Kate and basically saying that that video couldn't have been true. Because guess what, baby? You know people that know Kate. You know people that have seen Kate. And baby, they say Kate is not looking too well, looking a little thin, looking a little meager. Now, Pierce Morgan, it's important to note, Pierce Morgan, the voice of Camilla and Charles has said that the Kate in the picture could not have been the Kate that he saw. Well, he has friends that saw her just a few days ago. By proxy, he is also saying that that Kate can't be the same Kate that they saw out in the farm. Why is he coming out and calling them liars? Well, my whole thing is he's probably doing Charles's and Camilla's, Camilla's bidding. You know, some people, some royalists. Some people that want to believe everything okay. It's like, how dare you? The palace has already said that was Kate and we need to accept it. And I said, but that's where you're wrong. See, the palace coordinated that is show, approved the S show, helped the pictures be circulated. But the palace refuses, once again, don't be distracted, to actually come out and say, yes, that was Kate Middleton. Why you ask? Well, for another reason, it's because the AP press is waiting in the waiting in the wings to be like, what? Oh, we thought a PR people said something. What would what, you say? Yeah, we thought a, re, a royal PR person said something. What? 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everybody just sitting there like they're on the Beyonce mute challenge. So they can't actually come out and say that's Pete. Uh, Pete. I saw a cute little meme about um, uh, Kate uh, Kate was going to show uh, William and Rose what's coming. And it was a picture of Kate uh, photoshopped holding Pete Davidson's hand. Now, maybe if Pete, you know, what, let me not tease Pete. He's actually going through a hard time right here. Real hard, right? But the same amount of hard time he was going while he was with Kim. Anyway, right? So where are we at with things? Well, there's a few things that's happening. For one, Kids and Pals refuses to say anything. But oddly enough, everybody else is marching to defend themselves. A Kate impersonator is saying, that's not me. Now, I am not saying that she's lying. I really don't know. I am saying that the one place that can put all these rumors to rest refuses to speak out. We do have a video from Pierce Morgan we are going to play because Pierce is speaking out and the Royals aren't suing him and nobody's saying he's a liar, but they're just trying to act like he's not saying anything. See, that's the thing. Pierce could be lying. He could not be lying, but baby, they gave this man power and a platform. So now we're going to listen to what he has to say. But the girl that was a, paid, a, a Kate impersonator came out and said, once and for all, I'm going to let everybody know that wasn't me. Maybe it wasn't, but you guys know that heads of state, which Kate 100% is, heads of state, heads of state, all have lookalikes. They do. It's a security measure. You're silly if you think it doesn't happen. Now, was it that woman? I don't know. If somebody is paid, if that picture or video that circulated in the Daily Mail, I think the guy, or I'm sorry, the son, I think he got paid $200,000. That's what they say, right? How much did she get paid to do that? And you know when people do that type of stuff, they have to uh, hire NDAs and non-disclosure agreements. On top of that, the guy that took the video, who is a 30-something-year-old person, who ha knows is now saying that that blurry photo was through iPro 12. Again, the people that can disprove these rumors are once again, refusing to. Let's actually hear, um, uh, uh, let's actually hear what's going on. The person that imitated Kate, or she is an imitator, said, the conspiracy theories that she was standing in for Middleton on Saturday have gone too far, saying the public's musings have turned into daily drama. So it needs to stop. Shut your dumb self up. You literally are the drama. You make a living impersonating this woman. You can't be serious. I want to see if any Saudi sheiks have hired you to impersonate Kate the way they really want to see the Princess of Wales. On top of that, the Silva is now saying it's gone too far 
Why, sir? Because you got a $200,000 check for a video that when TMZ showed us the metadata, it showed that it was a 15 second video that actually was on Windsor Farms and taking Saturday. However, the video TMZ showed us is 41 seconds. So that means you made a, a video, two separate videos. One, we don't know what the metadata is, but that's the video you showed us. And two, the metadata uh, for the 15 second video that nobody knows where it is, that's for actually being on Windsor Farms. Okay. The Archbishop is actually coming out too. The Archbishop, and I don't want to respect a man in clergy, but baby, if he wants to bring that smoke, he can get it too. The Archbishop, okay, uh, is saying that uh, 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 Carmen's granddaughter on Twitter said, hello, this is getting serious now. The Church of England is now involved in the Kate Middleton is missing saga. The Archbishop of Canterbury wants you people on Twitter to shut up. Don't question your betters, okay? Now, first of all, William said when he becomes king, the Church of England is going to be abolished, annihilated, if you will, okay? He is now telling us to just shut up. And again, like Keith Whittaker said, people just want to know Kate is safe. You cannot blame anyone for not believing the palace. They're the ones playing with photographs and blaming Kate. They are the ones lying about Kate. Why is the truth so dangerous? Northern Girl said, welcome to feudal Britain. This is a system we are expected to put up with. Well, I say no more. Roll on modern republic. Uh, Morgoza originally said, well, good luck to him getting us to shut up. In fact, here's another theory. Wanks, I guess that's Williams, new private secretary whom they hired in February is on the board of Crohn's and Colotus uh, UK. I think it is likely that the bowel surgery and stomach bag thing is true. People were speculating that it was Crohn's disease were on the money. I do not believe for a second that Crohn's disease had anything to do, and I mean anything to do with what was going on with Kate. I really don't. Um, we also, right? Listen. We also... Uh, have let's actually get into uh Piers Morgan and what he actually has to say because I think it's very very interesting that even Piers Morgan, one of the flunkies and puppets for the UK media, is coming out and saying that the girl in that video could not be who Kate is. Again, neighbors are coming out, everybody's trotting out, everybody knows that it had to be Kate. They literally had a neighbor come out and said that he sees Wilma Kate weekly. How did you see a woman going through abdominal surgery weekly? And if you think that they live in a small little Harry Potter enclave, they live on vast estates. Anyway, let's get into what uh, Pierce Morgan was talking about. Because, baby, Pierce Morgan was funny. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's do this. One second. Convinced that the picture of Kate herself was taken the week before. Because I know somebody who saw her that week who said she didn't look anything like the picture. What did this person say she looked like? It was just somebody who, who bumped into her, who knows her, who just said that she looked a lot uh, thinner than she did in the picture. But certainly if you look at the picture, she looks uh, absolutely blooming with good health. I do not believe that's an accurate reflection of how she actually looked at the time. Did this person say she was alarmingly thin? Kate is pretty thin anyway and she was described to me as being thinner than usual. Hey, so there you have it. TMZ is doing a whole end thing about where is Kate Middleton, right? But also, Harris Morgan is saying that that couldn't have been Kate from Mother's Day because someone just saw Kate this week and she looked thin, alarmingly thin. Now, is this the palace trying to start rumors and make us feel sorry that Kate has something disorder with eating or something else? I don't know. But again, why is this truth so hard to get? Why can't they just show us Kate? They're talking about Kate is quietly working from home now. Kate doesn't have any work. They're talking about that early years project. Kate didn't do anything but commission a survey. And in the five years she's been working on it, nothing has happened. No one was, can be helped. All Kate wants us to know that with the early years is that 
it's fundamental. And if kids don't get the love they need in the early years, they could be horrible for the rest of their lives. I guess she knows from like the husband she married, right? I mean, they seem like they got their mom love for their mom. I don't know about the dad, but all jokes aside, I think once and for all, we can lay everything to rest. Everybody thinks that video is a fake. They can trot out the neighbor, literally, the person that filmed them. They can talk, trot out the Kate lookalike. Baby, you guys are all up for hire. I don't know whether to believe you. We're not putting this on try, trial. We just know this. Kinsen and Palace are liars, but even those liars refuse to go on record and confirm a photo op they made are then. Why might they uh, be keeping Kate until Easter? Let's see if she returns. Maybe this was some divorce thing. Maybe there was something seriously wrong. I really have my doubts as to whether Kate is going to return to Easter. I just know that if she does return, she better look the same, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.